Please rise for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Please be seated. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. We are here today to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2018. I am Luke Robert Beery. And I'm Levi Garrett Olson. We would like to welcome and thank you all for attending today to help our class celebrate this important accomplishment. Without all of your help and support, we couldn't have made it this far. This day was 13 years in the making. At times it was touch and go. There was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Mostly from our elementary playground games like ice chunk fights, ball tag battles, and football rivalries. Numerous teeth, broken bones, and blood seasoned our playground and our childhood. But in all seriousness, this day has been a combined effort among us, our parents, families, and the staff and administration at Sevastopol School and our community. Thank you for investing in us. We won't let you down. Deuces. Deuces. Students, teachers, fellow graduates, families and friends, welcome again to the 2018 commencement exercises. As this year's valedictorian, I got to learn the true meaning of the line pilfered by Mark Twain, Ben Franklin, and Voltaire from Pascal. If I would have had more time, I would have written a shorter speech. <laughs> now writing this speech has taken many days and many drafts, attempting to piece together everything I have learned into a three to six minute speech. Now, after much contemplation about bestowing expected valedictory advice, I realize I'm young and not in any way wise enough to advise anyone else but myself. And even then, it's a little iffy. But I found a few personal truths I'd like to share with you all. One, high school will not and should not be the best four years of our lives. We have so many things to look forward to. And while this day may be commemorated with looking at our past achievements, which of course have been abundant, we can still accomplish so much more. We can look forward to creating our own paths as we go off to the army, to college, to trade jobs, or to just travel the world. And as we travel down these paths, I am certain that the rewards will be great in value and in number. We'll have families of our own, get married, graduate from medical school, travel to all 50 states or all seven continents, and whatever our passions may be, this class is one for the books in pursuing our dreams. Another thing I am certain of is that the time we have now is fleeting. Without even catching my breath, life has flown by. Eighth grade feels like just yesterday, but as we all know, our clock on high school has just ran out. Which leads me to the most important thing that I've learned. Never let your fears interfere with your passions. I don't think I could ever do that. That was the most common phrase told to me when I went on foreign exchange. I also thought, I don't think I can ever do this. But 
The thing is, is I did it, and it opened the curtain to see a world beautiful and full of opportunities. And it's not just me venturing into a larger world or following my passions. Our class is full of people who will be spreading their wings and facing their fears. First, we have Jacob Welsing. He'll be pursuing a unique career path out in South Carolina. He's going to be combining his childhood passion of golf with his business experience in the gas station and changing that into a career. We also have Max McHugh, who's been a swimmer since the age of six. And swimming so long can complicate your personal life with your academic life and your athletic life. But despite any fears or doubts that he had, he persevered. And now he leaves us in just seven days to go out to Minnesota. And these are just a couple of the passions that my class has already turned into realities. Now, as we all go into the future, I hope that we will take all of these ideas with us. Number one, the future is full of excitement. Number two, make your life unique as you pursue your dreams. Number three, act as time flies. And lastly, number four, face your fears. We have a foundation and tools and the knowledge provided to us by our families, community, and school. Let us not look behind us and get stuck, but rather focus on moving forward. We can put away phrases like, I wish, I could have, I would have, I should have. These phrases are not relative or productive to our class. We've done amazing things already, and if we desire to do something further, let us do so. Let us conquer obstacles in front of us, even when they appear to be mountains. Thank you again to our cheerleaders, aka our families, our teachers, faculty members, administrators, and friends. Without your presence in our lives, we wouldn't be who we are today. Thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2018. Good afternoon. I would first like to thank everyone who made it possible for me and the rest of the class of 2018 to be standing here in front of you all today. Thank you friends, family, teachers, staff, and administration. Each of you in attendance have impacted us in some way, helping to shape us into who we are today. Over the last year, I've listened to Lexi LeClaire say at least a million times, guys, we're seniors. Each time she said this, I just laughed and rolled my eyes like, yes, we are. Thank goodness. I've been waiting for this day since first grade. <laughs> However, in the back of my mind, I always thought, oh, gosh, this is real. Then am I ready for what's next? How am I going to survive without my parents by my side through it all? Whether it be moving across the country or out of our childhood homes, our lives will be forever changed after today. This is scary to think about considering some of us can barely make a frozen pizza without something going wrong. <laughs> the last few weeks have been stressful for all of us. We're drowning in scholarships, AP exams, and finals, accompanied by our intense cases of senioritis. Each and every one of us is itching to walk out of this building and not look back. However, it's important to think about a few things regarding our future. Once we walk out these doors, and for the rest of our lives, we will encounter new situations with new people. But it's not about the circumstances themselves. It's how we address each new part of our lives that will shape our future. I'm confident that my peers will face these new situations with an open mind, a willingness to learn, a positive attitude, and above all, compassion for fellow human beings. We will make our mark on the world, regardless of the adversity we face. When the class of 2018 was told that something could not be done, we found a way to do it anyway. Before we only think about what comes next, though, we need to celebrate everything that has brought us up to this point. Here are a few things that the class of 2018 are known for. The class of 2018 achieved the highest ACT average in our conference. Bennett, Mallory, Lamira, Lexi, and Juanita just got back from DI Global Championships with a first place award and instant challenge. Wow, guys, number one in the world. Jillian and Madeline have received numerous publication awards for their hard work with the Sevastopol School newspaper. Max won two events at the state championship swim meet and broke a national record in the 100 breaststroke. The football team won the first outright conference championship in 57 years. Yeah. 
The team was led by seniors Charlie, Zach, Jacob, Nelson, Hunter, and Eli. Six students were recognized for achieving a 3.8 GPA or higher for every semester of high school. These students include Lamira, Bennett, Lexi, Hunter, Madeline, and Claire. This year's yearbook was awarded the National Program of Excellence, led by Lamira, Brooke, Courtney, Dasha, Juanita, Mallory, Hunter, Claire, Ava, and Allie. Sevastopol really is going to be a hard place for us to leave behind. Ava Olson tried in eighth grade, but she only lasted for two days. <laughs> Sorry, Ava, you can't come back this time. On a serious note, moving on is a time of tumultuous mixed emotions. The thrill of what lies ahead is sometimes eclipsed by the fear of the unknown. We will carry with us the lessons we learned inside and outside of the classroom here at Sevastopol. We've learned it's okay to fail because each failure is a stepping stone on the road to success. I've been lucky enough to be a fourth generation pioneer. Therefore, this community will always hold a special place in my heart. I believe this place will always be a part of the lives of all of us here today. This past winter, I watched the movie Wonder. The main character, Augie, ends the film by saying, everybody deserves a standing ovation at some point in their lives. I believe today is the class of 2018's turn to receive our standing ovation for all that we have accomplished in the past and what will be accomplished in the future. Thank you.
I had another speech prepared, but my grandmothers are here, so I decided to make it PG. <laughs> These past four years have gone by in a blink of an eye. More than anything else, we learned that each individual in their own way is unique. Together, we are able to combine our talents, athletic achievements, and community spirit to be great. Let this video always be a memory of the awesome team of 2018. Get out there and be truly amazing. Enjoy. Peace. <laughs> told me they someday these will be the good old days all the love you won't forget and all these reckless nights you won't regret someday soon your whole life's gonna change you'll miss the magic of these good old days i was thinking about the band i was thinking about the fans we were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars are above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and I full time We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Team's dedication to funding their future pathways this year. Even though we had a very small class size, there was a very high percentage of students who applied to scholarships that were also awarded some type of money towards their future. Congratulations. Graduates, as I say your name, please stand. Lamira Adams, the Carol Cunard Scholarship for $1,000, the Herb Cole Excellence Scholarship for $1,000, I'm sorry, $10,000, the UW-Milwaukee Chancellor Scholarship for $4,000, Stephanie Benton, the Jody Arpter Speech and Language Scholarship for $250, the Kenneth Anderson Endowment Scholarship for $1,500, the UW-Madison People Program Scholarship for $37,600 over four years, and the Wisconsin Academic Excellence Scholarship for $2,250 for four years. Luke Beery, the Jacksonport Advancement Scholarship for $1,000, the Rotary Vocational Scholarship for $1,250, and the Sevastopol Scholarship for $1,000. Claire Brower, the Jacksonport Women's Club Scholarship for $1,000, the Kenneth Anderson Endowment Scholarship for $1,500, the Sevastopol Scholarship for $1,000, the St. Norbert's College Scholarship for $80,000 over four years, 
the Bucky Badger Grant for $1,000, the UW-Milwaukee Freshman Scholarship for $4,000, and, er, and the John Doe Family Scholarship for $1,000. Charlie Carmody, the Wisconsin Technical Scholarship for $2,250 over four, for four years. Allison Differt, the Ripon Faculty Scholarship and Grant for $131,040 over four years. The Sevastopol Scholarship for $100. The St. Norbert's Presidential Award Scholarship for $68,000 over four years and the UW Platteville Roy and Gloria Bernard Scholarship for $2,000. Tyler Dvork, the Sevastopol Education Foundation Scholarship for $200. Madeline Estes, the Sevastopol Scholarship for $100. Hunter Evenson, the Sevastopol Scholarship for $100. Dylan Heath, the National Guard Tuition Grant for $37,600 over four years. Brooke Hurth, the Sevastopol Scholarship for $100 and the St. Norbert Presidential Award Scholarship for $68,000 over four years. Lindsay Gillett, the Door County Memorial Center Auxiliary Scholarship for $1,000 and the Sevastopol Scholarship for $100. Jilly Jorns, the Door County Memorial Center Auxiliary Scholarship for $1,000, the Kenneth Anderson Endowment Scholarship for $750, the Pioneer Athletic Booster Club Scholarship for $750, and the Scholarships Incorporated Distinguished Student Award for $1,000. Carmen Jorns, the North Dakota State Provost Award for $1,500, the North Dakota State Lamont Wilhelm Gray Scholarship for $1,000, the North Dakota State Freshman Scholarship for $6,000, and the North Dakota State Huisin Family Scholarship for $1,000, as well as the Sfaspool Scholarship for $100. Oh, and we missed a couple of Jillies in there. Sorry, Jilly, they're mixed up here. Um, Jilly also received the Sfaspool Scholarship for $100, the Sturgeon Bay Rotary Service Above Self Scholarship for $2,000, the Stu Today Drug Alliance Prevention Scholarship for $500, the Rotary Service Above Self Scholarship for $2,000, and the UW-Milwaukee Chancellor Scholarship for $4,000. Lexi LeClaire received the Carl Schultz Scholarship for $1,000, the Ray Kroc Award for $250, the Sfaspool FFA Alumni Scholarship for $400, and the Sfaspool Scholarship for $100. Max McHugh received a scholarship from the University of Minnesota for $120,000 over four years. Ava Olson received the Falcon Scholarship from UW River Falls for $1,000 for four years. The H.R. Holland Lodge No. 549 Sons of Norway Scholarship for $750. The PEO Chapter DF Joan Hislop Scholarship for $2,500. The Sevastopol Scholarship for $100 and the UW River Falls Outstanding Achievement Award for $2,000 for two years. Levi Olson received the Sfaspool Education Foundation Scholarship for $200. <laughs> the 
Bennett Robach received the Elk Scholarship for $1,000, the Door County Medical Center Auxiliary Scholarship for $1,000, the Greenstone Farm Credit Services Scholarship for $2,000, the Pioneer Athletic Booster Club Scholarship for $750, the Robert J. Stoffel Senior Memorial Scholarship for $1,500, the Rotary Rising to the Challenge Scholarship for $1,000, the Fastpool, Sevastopol Extraordinary Volunteerism Scholarship for $200, the Sevastopol FFA Alumni Scholarship for $400, the Sevastopol Scholarship for $100, and the University of Wisconsin-Madison Scholarship for $3,000. Jesus Sanchez received the Wisconsin National Guard tuition grant for $37,600 over four years. Juanita Sandoval received the Dr. John and Mary Ann Tong scholarship for $500. Emma Schleicher received the Jacksonport Advancements Corporation scholarship for $1,000 the Martin Luther College Scholarship for $1,000, the Zion Lutheran Church Scholarship for $1,000, and the Sevastopol Scholarship for $100. <laughs> Bailey Schrader received the Stanley H. Ostrand Scholarship for $500. Dasha Smith received the St. Norbert Van Dyke Award for $40,000 over four years. <laughs> Mallory Stotts received the John Bob Memorial Scholarship for $250. <laughs> Nicholas Stokel received the Wisconsin Army National Guard tuition grant for $37,600 over four years. And Courtney Teeble received the Sfastpool Alumni Benefit Scholarship, which is $500 for four years. Congratulations, <laughs> graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. For the last 13 years, we've called this building home and occasionally teach your mom or dad. But today is the last time we will be students of Sevastopol. Throughout our time here, the class of 2018 has always done things a little differently and we've made numerous memories that will stick with us. Like that one time that Jacob Welsing somehow managed to stab his neck with a pencil and pass out in our teacher's arms. <laughs> Miss White had given the class freshly sharpened Valentine's Day pencils. So Jacob took his brand new, extra sharp pencil and decided that it would be perfect to erase his dirty whiteboard with. As he was erasing, it wasn't coming off, so he kept trying harder and harder until the pencil ended up in his neck. We have hundreds of stories like this, but it's getting pretty hot in here, so I'll keep it moving. The class of 2018 devoted our energy to sports like football, cross country, volleyball, swimming, basketball, soccer, track and softball, and to groups like SAD, Project 180, Student Council, Peer Mentors, and to the newspaper and yearbook staff. While we were definitely the class that the teachers were warned about, we also left our mark here at Sevastopol High School throughout our many contributions. We survived, and so did the staff at Sevastopol Elementary, Middle, and High School. Today we are graduating with 35 of our closest friends and entering into the world of adulthood. Luckily, we know that we can always come back here if we need anything, and the community will always welcome us with open arms. This day would not be complete without offering one last expression of gratitude to the teachers, staff, and administration who have devoted themselves to our education and well-being, to the community that continues to support all pioneers, and most of all to our parents and families who have been our biggest fans since day one, and have showed unconditional love and support and have pushed us to follow our dreams, no matter what they are. Finally, we would like to invite you all to join us in the multi-purpose room following this commencement for pictures and to meet the graduates. 
Congratulations, class of 2018. We did it. Superintendent Lidke, respected school board members, faculty, staff, parents, and community. Class of 2018, this is your moment. There will never be such a moment in your lives again. Today your journey begins as we gather to celebrate all that you have accomplished. At this moment you have reached the end of your formative education and are ready to begin a new journey. Before we recognize all that the class of 2018 has accomplished, let us take a moment to acknowledge all of the people who helped us reach this point. First, please let me recognize your teachers. Dan Rathers once said, the dream begins most of the time with a teacher who tugs and pushes and leads you on to the next plateau, sometimes poking you with a sharp stick. This class may have needed a little nudge at times, but so do we all. I hope they leave knowing how much your teachers truly care about you and how they pushed you so you could achieve beyond your dreams. I would also like to thank our parents the single most important element of the success we are recognizing today is a result of our families. Seniors, please take time to thank your parents for the sacrifices that they have made on, the, on your behalf. Without their support and guidance, you would not have had the opportunities that we are here to celebrate today. Thank you. Now I would like to address our graduates and their accomplishments. Let me begin by acknowledging the accolades that this class has achieved. Academically, they are outstanding. 83% earned a B average or higher throughout all four years of high school. Over 91% completed college level courses with an astonishing 94% planning on continuing their education at an institute of higher education. Most recently, due to their participation in advanced placement courses, AT, ACT scores, and academic achievements, they helped Sevastopol be recognized as one of America's best high schools, according to US News and World Reports. And finally, these students, through their hard work throughout high school, helped our school district be recognized as the second highest performing school district in the state of Wisconsin, according to our state accountability report cards. These accolades are profound and demonstrate how prepared this class is for their future. Still, before they leave, I would like to remind them of the values that I have seen in each of them. Few of these values come from a book. Instead, they come from the people who care about you, your school, your community, and most importantly, your family. These values envelop kindness, respect, and sharing, and they lead to purpose and happiness. Everyone in your life, everyone in this gymnasium, hopes that you achieve these rewards as you set out on your new journey. So as you move forward, remember all of these values. Today, I want to remind you of a few of the values that I have seen resonate within this class. I want you to recall how hard this journey was because nothing earned through hard work can easily be taken away. Continue to work hard, continue to be passionate about your work and always invest in your future. With this, you will find purpose and make a profound difference. Just like you have made a difference in our school as mentors of our elementary students through the creation of new organizations like the Multicultural Club and through countless volunteer efforts. Through this greater work, you have made a difference. John Quincy Adams once said, if your actions cause others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you have achieved more. Please also remember to never doubt yourself. I am so proud of the growth that I've seen in each one of you. We all started life by letting others define who we are, but not today. Today you sit in front of our community as confident young adults with your own identity. Maintain your identity when waters are turbulent because there will be times when others cast stones. Look inside yourself for the answers. You have them, you are ready. Finally, remember to be impeccable with your word. Why might this be important? It's, in, it's important because our words express emotion, confidence, and character. The things we say define who we are. Just like a handshake demonstrates respect, your words define you. The adage is true. You are only as good as your word. 
But more important, our words express emotion like love, concern, and anger. Be patient when you speak out in anger. Be kind when you talk to a child and be willing to share your heart. Graduates, take these admirable traits with you. Always work hard, never doubt yourself, be impeccable with your words. You have a lot to offer. I hope you realize that when you adhere to your values and the values of this great community, you will find happiness. You are prepared and you will succeed. Reach inside yourself for the answers and give with all your heart. And when, time, when times become challenging, remember this quote, always we hope someone else has the answer. Some other place it will be better. Some other time it will all work out. This is it. No one else has the answer. No other place will be better. And it has already turned out. At the center of your being, you have the answers. You know who you are and you know what you want. Search your heart and see the way. Now as we conclude this important step in life, it brings mixed emotions for many. It is time for looking back as well as forward and dreaming of the future we will create for yourselves. I have had the privilege of growing with you and serving as your principal. I have learned from you as I hope you have learned from me. I will miss each of you very much. Mr. Lidke, these students seated before you have fulfilled all of the graduation requirements as set forth by Sevastopol School District. I present to you four diplomas, the Sevastopol Senior High Class of 2018. Would the front, front row please stand? Lamira Star Adams. Luke Robert Berry. Stephanie Jane Benton. Claire Rose Brower. Jillian E. Jorns. Levi Garrett Olson. First row, please be seated. Second row, please stand. Charles Hunter Carmody. Zachary Warner Christensen. Nelson Thomas Demean. Allison Kate Differt. Tyler Russell Dvorak. Madeline Rose Estes. Hunter Scott Evenson. Ryan Keith Fail. Dylan Thomas Heath. Brooke Nicole Hearth. Second row, please be seated.
Third row, please stand. Lindsay Lee Gillett. Carmen Elise Jorns. Jada Ann Lauger. Alexandra Helen LeClaire. Maxwell Jerome McHugh. Mario Emmanuel Nolasco. Ava Christina Olson. Madison Paige Patton. Madison. Third row, please be seated. Fourth row, please stand. Bennett Morrison Rabach. Jesus Sanchez. Juanita Maria Sandoval. Emma Ann Schleicher. Bailey Dane Schrader Ehlers. Daria Juliana Smith. <laughs> Mallory Irene Stotts. <laughs> Nicholas Warner Stokel. <laughs> Courtney Therese Thibault. Jacob Patrick Welsing. <laughs> Eli Thomas Zilke. Class of 2018, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I present to you the Sevastopol graduating class of 2018.